Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope you're all having a great week so far. So in today's video, what I thought I'd be doing is diving into the Pomodoro timers that are out there. I wanna recommend a couple of applications to you guys because I know in the community, a lot of you guys love the Pomodoro, the process used to help you save time and beat procrastination across your day. Just before we start, I actually had a question over on the comment section. Errol asked whether you can on Todoist actually use recurring tasks past the likes of a week. For so for example, the use of to like creating a recurring task for two weeks or two months, for example. He was just curious about whether that is possible. And the answer is yes, that is possible, Errol. Um, you can basically use the recurring reminders with the smart language input. So all you have to do inside that to do is bar is just go every two weeks at 3 p.m. and that task will recur to that time from the date that you set it. And the same with every two months. And you can do that with a lot of different recipes. And what I'll do in the description for anyone else who wants to learn more about that smart language input is actually go and look at the way that you can format uh, those uh, inputs so that you can schedule a recurring task for the right time. Again, if you have any comments or things like that, I'm going to be starting to answer them at the start of videos, so make sure to add them in the comment below. So guys, let's dive into those 10 Pomodoro timers. So the first one is called Focus Booster. This is available for iOS and Android, and it has inclusive features like timesheets to help keep track of all of those Pomodoro processes and sessions that you have. Now, the only problem is it has a 20 session limit on the freemium, and you'll need to upgrade, I believe its starting prices are $2.99 per month. But it seems like a good resource if you're looking to get started, especially with that time sheet experience. It allows you to keep track of all of those sessions that you have. But if you're looking to have more than 20 sessions over a set period of time, you need to go and look at the pricing. The next one is probably the one that I use most and the one that I hear from you guys that you recommend a lot. It's called Focus Keeper. Now I believe Focus Keeper is only available on iOS. If it's got an Android one, I'll include it in the description. It includes a lot of awesome features. Ones that I especially enjoy are the rounds. So for example, inside of a Pomodoro application, you've obviously got the sessions that you can have per Pomodoro timer, 25 minutes, five minutes on. You can actually have rounds set up in this one, which is quite nice. So that you know how many rounds you've done in a day. And you also have the host of statistics as well behind it. Analytics that will provide you with a way to see all of that brilliant data. And it will help you feedback what you need to do when you're doing a next session and help you improve those. Now, there are a lot of customizations in the settings as well. This application is priced at a pretty healthy £1.99, which I think is about $2.99 in the US. So the next Pomodoro timer is one that directly connects to Trello. I've done a full review on this in the past, so what I'll do is I'll attach it in the description. It's a Chrome extension that allows you to connect it to the likes of Trello, allowing you to capture how long you spend on a specific uh, task gives you time tracking but also gives you the ability to follow that Pomodoro technique and process to really optimize your productivity especially when you're basing tasks inside Trello and you're making sure you're trying to keep to them and keep a tally of how much progress you've made to them. The good thing is every time you finish a session you can dump it inside of your Trello account attached to the card that you worked on. Again, I'll make sure to add that one in the description. The next one is very similar to Pomelo in some sense. Toggle, everyone knows Toggle adds a time tracking application, but it also has a Chrome extension for a Pomodoro timer. So you can easily get started with that one. It's a really simple top right hand corner application to have, especially if you're heavily work in the browser, you can get things done using this app with a quite a lot of ease, which is fantastic. The next one is Pomodone. Uh, this is an application available on web, but provides you with a way to connect to all of your favorite to-do list applications. I've seen on the website, they've got Todoist, uh, Sana, and a couple of other resources that you can connect this to and basically associate uh, your Pomodoro process to the time uh, on task, which is quite nice. So it connects and integrates really well with your favorite to-do list applications. If you're looking for an application or a timer that does something close to that, you've either got Pomelo, Toggle, or this one, Pomodone, to actually handle and uh, process alongside your tasks. So the next one is called Clear Focus, and it comes highly recommended to me from Android users. Now the application itself is available on iOS and Android and is actually free to get started with. However, there is a in-app purchase of $1.99 to access all of the amazing customization abilities and stats. 
Now, Clear Focus is one of those applications that does look like a Pomodoro timer from the uh, app icon, but also provides you with a host of features that will get you started in that space. Now, it's gonna be easy, especially if you're switching between iOS and Android to keep all of the progress and statistics going, so that's definitely worth considering. So the next application is called Be Focused Pro, and I've actually got this installed on my uh, MacBook. It actually comes inside of the Set App subscription. That's probably one of the reasons I've got it. It's a $4.99 purchase on Mac, and I think it's about $1.99 on iOS, but I'll make sure to add that in the description below. Now, this application works really great, and the great thing is, if you're someone that works both on iOS and Mac, you've got a resource to provide for both of them. You don't necessarily have to have uh, a go to a website for it. The Mac application clips up to the top bar so that you can quickly access it and start a timer whenever you'd like, and you can also access it on your phone, and the application works really well, and they keep it regularly updated. Now, the next one is called Pomodoro Tracker. This is a really simple web one. Again, if I want you to start off with a basic basic experience, then I recommend Pomodoro Tracker because it's a web interface that allows you just to click and get started. There's no intricate uh, applications or intricate statistics, just a very simple experience, especially if you're wanting to get started and, and not be afraid by all of these timers and apps that I'm recommending. The next one, Clockwork Tomato. This is available on Android. I've had it recommended to me a few times from Android users. It's, it's quite old fashioned in a sense, but it provides you with a pretty statistical way to track your Pomodoro tech times across the day and bring together all of that in a neat uh, timer timesheet, uh, which will be great for when you're looking back um, I believe it stores the data locally, so just be aware of that as you're getting started. Again, I'll include the link in the description below. And my final recommendation, something that gets a lot of recommendations on Android and also iOS now, it's available there too, is Tide. Now this is an application that includes a lot of awesome sounds, but also as well provides you with a way to top clack, uh, track Pomodoro timers using a simple timer and also blends in the likes of music and also relaxing backgrounds to help you keep focused on your activities. Now, again, it's available for free, I believe, on iOS and Android as well. So just go and check that one out. It's a great recommendation. Always get it in the comments as well, especially in groups as well and comments uh, on other Twitter posts as well. It always becomes recommended. So guys, I hoped that you enjoyed those recommendations. As you can imagine, naturally there are plenty more. So in the comments below, it'd be great to hear some of your opinions of Pomodoro timers. I'll probably do like a part two or maybe even like a bigger video like the top 30 Pomodoro timers uh, as I start to understand a few more of them, but they're the ones that I've come into interaction, in interaction with over the last couple of months. And obviously there are more like sort of processes that people can go through. I've seen the likes of a dice that you can leave on your desk and move around um, to keep you focused and it links up with your phone to a button and I've actually got a, a button in my room, the salient button, which I'm meant to check out in the near future. So that was a short roundup of the Pomodoro timers. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions in general because we're doing a Q&A soon. So it'd be great to have a few of those and answer a few questions. So guys, make sure to have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. And I hope that you enjoyed those recommendations. Cheers.